Hi everyone, it's Lauren and I thought I'd just have a bit of a chat today, a bit of a catch up. Um, I've got some coffee, feel free to go get yourself some tea or coffee or like another hot beverage of your choice. Um, if you want to kind of sit down and have a little bit of a bit of a chat, bit of a catch up, bit of a chin wag. Um, I kind of thought I would just turn the camera on and then talk and see what comes out because I've got quite a lot of things going on in the old life at the moment. As I film this, it's two weeks to the day till the London Marathon, um, which is an interesting, it's an interesting feeling. Um, so that's on the 22nd of, of April, Sunday the 22nd. Uh, yeah, and at the moment I'm supposed to be tapering, which means resting basically, and just kind of letting your muscles recuperate, like store all your energy up and rest, so that on race day you're kind of ready to go. Um, and it's actually kind of horrible. And everyone said, all the advice is that tapering is really nasty and you feel like you want to do things because it's too late to change your fitness now. Like I can't really do any more. But then you think, oh, but have I done enough? Like, should I be doing some more? Um, but the only reason I feel particularly nervous is that I have been resting like the last few, like the last month maybe before this point, I've had um, a sore ankle, which is a really old, it's an old injury. There's nothing new there at all. So it's actually fine. But because I've been doing so much running, it's kind of niggled this old injury. And um, my ankle has been hurting on and off when I've been running. So I thought, well, nip that in the bud, you know, don't run on it. Which means I've missed a few of my training runs up until the point where you're then supposed to drop off. So part of me feels like, oh, you're supposed to have been running at this, you know, running this many miles a week, say, and then you're supposed to taper that off before marathon day. But I was like already here. <laughs> so I'm kind of feeling like, where am I tapering from exactly? Because I'm, I'm worried that I've not done enough, but oh, it will be fine. I have really enjoyed it actually. I've really enjoyed, not the running so much, I quite like running, but I really enjoy feeling fit and feeling strong just in your everyday life. It's quite nice to be this level of fitness. Um, and I kind of, I'm trying to enjoy it because I know what I'm like the minute the marathon is over and I don't have that hanging over my head, I probably won't <laughs> do as much running or as much gymming or, you know, I'll probably lose my fitness um, in the ensuing weeks. But it's it's doing okay. And I am, I am looking forward to the actual day. I've always wanted to run the London Marathon, so, I'm sure it'll be exciting on the actual day. I'll say as well, thank you so much to everyone who's sponsored me. Like kind of lots of people have given little donations and it is amazing. I'm running on behalf of Refuge, which is the domestic violence charity, um, one of the biggest ones in the UK. Um, I'll leave the link below. If, you, if anybody else wants to sponsor, that would be like so fantastic because everything that anybody donates, like whatever I raise, the company I work for does this thing where they like match charitable donations. So anything anybody donates is like automatically doubled um, by my company. So it's quite worthwhile, I think. Like my target for refuge is £2,000. I think right at this very moment, I'm at something like 1500 1600 Um So, you know, with my company, that's like three. So I've got to my target in theory, but I did cut, before I did this, I did kind of want to get to something like, I wanted to get over two, say like two and a half, so that then the total number could be five, because I just, feels like a nice amount to give to them, but you know, it's good, I'm there. I've got my sponsorship. I think that is quite a good motivator as well because I'm gonna feel like I can't let all these people down. I can't let Refuge down. And I can't let anybody who sponsored me down. Um, I think that will help <laughs> drive me along. I'd like to say I've been doing a lot of wedding planning as well recently, but I really haven't. That is actually something I should do later today um, is look at a few things, but we're, we're basically there. And we did a lot of stuff earlier on in the year, we've kind of got all of the suppliers, most of the suppliers, booked in for our date. So we've got caterers, we've got flowers, we've got, I don't know what else, we've got, I've got my dress, most important thing, got a cake person. We just need to book the entertainment. But it seems to be the kind of thing where you rush to pin people down and get them, make sure that they're free on that day. But then the actual details of the day, we can kind of spend the next few months sorting out. Cause we're not getting married till the end of September. So we're on hiatus a little bit now, especially because Will's um, studying for one of his CFA exams. It's like a three year course, but it, to me, it seems like almost doing a degree alongside your full-time job. Like he, he's working constantly, but fingers crossed, this is his last exam. This is his third year and that's in June. So I think at the moment we're, I'm like marathon and he's like CFA. So after those things, 
then we can focus on, oh yeah, a wedding, that might be nice. Um, so we can get all the exciting bits uh, sorted. I'm just really looking forward to it now. It's all kind of taken shape. We spoke to our florist a few weeks ago and she sent through like a mood board and all the different kind of um, ideas for the flowers and I'm just like, it's. I can really visualise it now. I'm sorry content has been a little bit marathon heavy recently. I haven't had loads of time to read because, you know, I'm spending a lot of time running and going to the gym. Um, so a lot of the a lot of the vlogs have been marathon related, but I do have some other stuff coming up after the marathon. So I have some more Shakespeare videos planned. Um, I'm going to do Macbeth, then The Winter's Tale, then King Lear. That's like my projected schedule. So I will be doing those soon. It's just they do take a little bit of time. We just kind of got to sit down and work it all out. And I'm just really, really good at procrastinating and not doing the work. But I will do them. Don't worry. And um, I've also got some other ideas planned for some videos around like. I want to say careers, but I don't really mean like career advice as such. Or maybe I do mean careers or like life stuff. I did a video like two years ago um, about not worrying if you don't know what to do for a career. And that's like my most viewed video ever. And I've had so many comments on it where a lot of people just felt like they'd been really worried and they just had a lot of anxiety and nerves and lots of questions about going from kind of university to work or school to university or school to work or, or anything or like changing career and everyone had a lot of uncertainty around that and I felt like that's kind of a topic that I have more to say on so perhaps I could do a little bit more on that but haven't quite worked out what that's going to look like yet. But I would be interested, number one, to know if that's something you would watch at all and number two, um, if you are interested in watching something about careers and life advice and something a little bit more general than just the books and um, kind of what topics within that are the things that you have questions on like kind of what would you want this series to look like what form do you think it might want to take um, um, apologies that's kind of a vague question it's like what kind of random thing do you think I might want to do on my channel I don't know if I really had anything else to say I just kind of felt like I wanted to check in I have a bit of a general chat because I don't think I have for a while um, what else is going on? Work's okay. Work's fine. I'm on a scheme where I'm kind of learning how to do something. So I'm going to be moving to a different team in August. So at the moment I'm a bit like, waiting till August. But, you know, there's worse things in the world than kind of being a little bit bored at work, you know. So that that's fine. Um, I think things are going to get a little bit more interesting in July and August when I start some new training and join a new team. And, Oh man, that'd be good. But yeah, aside from that, it's okay. I should probably turn this off now. I think this video might turn into something like three hours long. I and mean, if I do, but you know, let's chat in the comments. I hope that you're all well and everything's going okay in your lives. Kind of let me know what you've been up to. And um, yeah, so we'll be back to our normally scheduled programming post marathon. <laughs> I did a little kick with my leg then, but you can't see my leg at all. So I don't really understand. There it is. Woo. <laughs>